Well, wishing you a wonderful Christmas today. Trust that you have a wonderful, joyful, Christ-centered Christmas and a great time of celebration. Just remembering, rejoicing, thanking God for sending His Son, Jesus Christ, into this world. And uh, the Bible tells us about the good news of Christ, the gospel of Christ, which is the good news of Jesus Christ. Paul wrote in Romans 1 and verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, or the good news of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. As we remember the birth of Jesus Christ, let's remember that Christ coming into this world was really the good news of the coming of the Messiah. Christ or Christos in the Greek really is referring to the anointed one, the Messiah, the one who comes under the anointing of God, of the Father, uh, to be the deliverer, to be the savior, to be the one who would rescue us and overthrow the yoke of the enemy and the oppression of the enemy, the Messiah, the anointed one. And because of his anointing, we are delivered from the yoke of oppression of the enemy. So this is the good news of the Messiah, the good news of the coming of the Messiah into this world to be our Savior, to be our Lord. And Paul writes, he says, this good news of Christ, this gospel of Christ, it is the power of God that has been made available for every one of us to bring salvation into our lives simply by believing in the Messiah. This gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, it reveals the glory of God. It reveals uh, who God is and what God can do in our lives. This good news of the Messiah. So today, this Christmas day, as we think about Jesus, remember this Christ whom we celebrate. He is the Messiah. The one that God said, I will send into this world in order to redeem mankind in order to deliver you and me, in order to make the power of God available for our salvation simply by believing in Him. Thank Him. Let's thank Him today for the Messiah who came into this world. And now we look forward to His coming again as King, as Lord, as ruler, as the one who will establish His kingdom here on earth. We look forward to His coming as King and as Lord. We thank Him for His coming as Messiah. We look forward to His coming as King and Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for the good news of Christ, for the good news of the Messiah, the Savior who came. And Father, we look forward to His coming as King and as Lord. We give You thanks this Christmas day for sending Your Son Jesus into this world to be our Savior, to be our Lord, to be our Messiah. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.